So your four-year-old has this mommy baby stingray set and she's playing with them and you have a whole bunch of other sets, but your six-year-old decides she wants these. And she says to her sister, can I have the baby stingray? And sister says, no. Okay. So now you're getting kind of edgy. Now this is the time for you to intervene because if you don't intervene fast enough, it's going to go tricky, right? They're going to start bickering and fighting and maybe they'll push or hit or shove and then you have to run in and it's a whole mess. So you want to intervene early. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to teach the six year old who doesn't have the thing, <clears throat> excuse me, how to ask for things with palm up. So you're going to have to sit behind her and give her lots of support and hold her hand and show her that in our family, we always ask for things with palm up. This is the opposite of grabbing. Okay. So now I've taught that skill. She's still going to have a hard time with it because she just learned it. Um, and maybe she asked sister again and she asked with her palm up and I am right there giving this six year old so much positive reinforcement for doing the thing that I just taught her, which was ask for the thing with palm up. Now four year old is probably still going to stay say no, I'm not going to give it to you. So six year old says, can I have it? And, um, like this, she models it. And then the four year old says, no, I don't want to give it to you. No, it's mine. Okay, now your job has changed. Now your job is to support your six-year-old to learn to wait. Do not go for, I'm gonna set a timer, I, we have to share, you get one, she gets one. No, forget all that stuff. You're gonna focus on six and you're gonna focus on helping her tolerate the disappointment and helping her wait, okay? So make yourself the most delightful, sweet thing Here's a couple of things you could do. You could say, do you think sister is gonna play with those for how long it takes for us to sing two ABCs or four ABCs? Um, and maybe she'll say two. Um, and so then you can try singing and I'm, I am like right there giving this kiddo so much input. Okay, so we try singing, you ask it, she asks with her palm up. I might remind, remember we always ask with palm up, let's ask, she doesn't do it, okay. Now again, we have to tolerate. Okay, so I might say, wow, I'm modeling disappointment. That is so tricky. She doesn't want to give it to you. I don't know. We could try running around the house four times or we could try, I don't know, something sweet, maybe like going to bake muffins or something. So I'm making myself the thing that she wants to be with. It could even just be bouncing up and down on my leg or spinning her around or something. So part of what I'm doing is highlighting the relationship. So my four year old who has the two coveted toys wants to come into engagement with me. Eventually she's going to come over and she's going to leave these behind. And then I have to continue the connection. Now if a six year old goes and picks these up and then four year old is having a meltdown. Now it's my turn to do that exact same thing with my four year old. It's work.